We've got a whole lot of love for Best Bet Jacksonville this week. Vince Van Patten is streaming today and we've partnered once again with NASCAR. It's all this week on the WPT. This week is Best Bet Jacksonville Appreciation Week, one of our loyal casino partners since 2012 in our 10th season, where they became an annual televised stop on the tour. Appreciation Week means you'll see a whole lot of trips down memory lane on the WPT website, so look out for that. Matt Savage and Phil Hellmuth joined the latest panel on Robbie Straczynski's The Orbit this week, discussing poker, storytelling on TV and more. I'll link to that full episode in the show notes. Vince Van Patten will be streaming his Club WPT $5,000 bounty event today at 4pm Eastern, so hop in the chat on twitch.tv slash worldpokertour and say hello to him and the stream team, of course. And there's a 14-day free trial on Club WPT if you want to play along too. The top 50 finishers of that event will all receive a $100 check in the mail. And the World Poker Tour has partnered with NASCAR Foundation for the Betty Jane Memorial High Speed Hold'em Poker Tournament. Now, this was traditionally held in Daytona Beach, but this time we'll go virtual with us on Club WPT on January 13th, featuring NASCAR Cup Series champions and poker pros. The final table will be hosted by Maria Ho. Now, this isn't the first time that we've worked with NASCAR. A couple of years back, WPT sponsored a NASCAR and I was lucky enough to go to the track for a VIP experience. And I'm going to leave you with a little story summary from that because it was an epic weekend in Las Vegas. 8.15, we get picked up at Aria and we head out to the racetrack. It was scorching hot. We get there, it's 9am, it's already 90 degrees. When we walk in, we're in the garage and there were all these trucks just lined up from all of the race teams and they had their spare cars in there and like they have their whole tools and the spare tires and everything you need, I don't know, like ready to take out to the pits. We were hanging out with the team, got a whole red carpet experience when we went to this driver's meeting. The fans get so into it, it was like infectious. I was just dying for this race to start. And then we head out to the pits and there's all the cars lined up. And that was when we saw the glorious set of wheels. Car number 32. Check this out. How good does it look? No, Can't say it looks cozy inside. These cars are intense. There is a lot happening. It was so hot. It was 100 degrees outside. You know what else is hot? This car. But Matt was saying that inside the car, it gets to like 140 degrees. He has to put ice packs into his suit and stuff. And then they have just this one tube of like life force energy that just blows some mediocre wind into his helmet to just, I could never respect that is heat so the race was about to begin and here i was thinking okay well we better get out of the pits and get out of the way oh no we got the vip treatment we got taken to our seats in the pit it's legit like in the pit we were with the whole actual pit crew and the whole race team like I was just watching the whole thing go down and we had our headphones on and we could hear the driver and the, the coach. Is that what they call the coach? Then the race starts. When all those cars started revving their engine, I'm gonna, I loved it. It was just, you could feel it through your whole chest. They were just like these big beasts. I have so much, so much respect for race teams and how much goes into this. The pit crew, they're, Amazing! They all have knee pads on and stuff, and when the car comes in, they just go flying out on their knees. They take off all the wheels and put on the spare wheels and fill up the gas and get in and out in one Instagram story. It's 15 seconds. Amazing! It was four hours of this, and I just loved it. 